Hi family, Bunny here. Welcome to my sacred space of love and healing. Tomorrow is the 11-11 portal. <clears throat> and I've been feeling some really, really heavy energy today. Um, so, you know, we're also, I think we're coming into like a new moon or something. Um... Every time around the new moon, I always get really exhausted and it's just weird. The energy is weird. There's always like a heaviness. I don't know if it's like from the purging or what's going on. Um, but anyways, I wanted to tap into the energy of the collective and see what we're, we are going through as a collective, what's coming in for us, um, what we're sort of going to be experiencing. I didn't even fix my cards. Normally I have my cards all fixed and everything. I just, I literally just turned on my camera and just started flowing. <laughs> I didn't even know I was going to do a reading today and I just felt so guided to do this. So, all right, I'm going to go ahead and dive right in. I'm going to start with my Thoth tarot deck. All right, this is a general reading for whoever finds it. It is a collective energy read to see what's coming in for all of us, the collective, for the 1111 portal. You know, 1111, I've been seeing it all day. Like, you know, it's the 10th here. So it's the day before the 1111 portal. I don't know where you are in the world, but, you know, welcome. Thanks for tuning in. Um... But every time I hear 1111, I instantly think of the twin flame journey because, you know, 1111 is a twin flame number. So, I don't know why I felt guided to say that, but, you know, every time I see 1111, that's what comes up for me in my head. <laughs> and I hear 1111 portal, I'm thinking twin flames. All right. Wow. Look at this. So for some of you, those manifestations that you've been putting out in the universe in regards to your finances are finally freaking coming in. It's about damn time. Seriously. Like I'm, I'm, I'm in the same boat as y'all. Okay. <laughs> I'm right where you're at. I'm in the thick of my lessons. Okay. I'm waiting for my money ship. So it looks like it's coming in. You know, we have the Ten of Pentacles, which is like massive amounts of wealth, okay? I mean, I know I'm wealthy in spirit, so it's all good. I have been so freaking busy, though, you guys. I'm, I'm exhausted. My kids got me up at 4 a.m. again. Six of Cups, pleasure. So some of you will be finding, why is camera being weird anyways some of you are going to be finding some nostalgia some past love feelings right um with someone from your past that's coming in right and for some of you there's going to be a whole lot of like sexual pleasure i i mean the card says pleasure, but this feels like a past life connection. So for some of you, it'll be, it's going to be different for all of you. But for some of you, it'll be someone from your past coming in. Right? And for some of you, this is like, it goes deeper. This is like a spiritual past life connection. Either way, I feel like there'll be a lot of sexual innuendos. Like, not in a bad way. It's like a playful sexual energy, right? Right? This person is going to come in with a lot of playful sexual energy. Whoever this is for. It could be a Taurus. We have Prince of Discs. Which is um, Taurus energy. Okay. Um, whoever this is, right? They're very patient. So I don't know... And usually they're very money focused. Okay. I don't know who this is for, but 
You know, this is just a general read. It's not going to resonate with every single person, but parts of it will probably resonate. Hell, the whole reading might resonate with you. I don't know. Um, <clears throat> I did my meditation and prayer before I started. So I know that this reading is going to hit heavy for a lot of people. Um, someone, they're usually very patient. They're usually very focused on their money. Something shifts. I don't know. Um, can you clarify it from this? Prince of Discs. Okay. Sorry about the background noise. My kids are, oh, they're full throttle today. We <laughs> had way too much candy. All right. Um. It's funny, like, they get really energized around the new moon, and I'm the opposite. I get super tired. And so, it's just not a good combination. <laughs> Clarify from this, about this Prince of Disc, please. What caused the change of heart? Whoa, you did. <laughs> the fact that you are radiating this sexual, charismatic, queen of wands, fiery, feline energy okay take that how it resonates Oof. so give us some more ideas um about this wealth card first can we get some clarifications about how the wealth is going to come in please Eight of Swords. So it's when you get out of your own way. <laughs> when you can stop your intrusive thoughts about money and you just relax and you, you stop um, overplaying what you can and cannot do in your head, right? When you get out of your own head about it, when you just surrender and say, forget it, there's nothing more I can do. I'm doing my best and try to just relax it's easier said than done. I know it's, it's been a really huge struggle for me this month. I'm not going to lie guys. Seriously. I don't know what card this is. I think this is the Leo card. Yes. I'm pretty sure. All right, so I'm not really familiar with this deck. I don't know why I felt God had used this deck. I think this is a Leo card. It's Lust. It's number 11. One second. All right, guys. I don't have a booklet for this for this deck because I know the tarot decks like the back of my hand. Except this, okay. <laughs> Let me do a little bit of explaining. So it was 818 on my camera phone. Um, this deck, this is the only card, um, in the standard tarot that Alistair Crowley decided to change in the tarot deck. Okay. All the other cards are the same, except for this one. This is, I looked up the number on here, right? It's a number 11. It's, it's justice. It's the scales. It's Libra energy. But if you notice on this card, it says lust. So it's the only card that he changed in the deck. Like he, he doesn't call it the justice card or the scales or whatever. He calls it lust. That's the only reason I was like, oh, I don't, I don't know what this card is. Um, so every other card is, is just like the standard tarot. Um, that's the only card he changed. I don't know why, but so, but it's funny because remember I've been, I was already channeling the sexual energy, right? I was already channeling sexual energy. So it's coming out again. And one second. All right. So if you haven't been sexual in a while, I don't know why this is coming up. But like if you've been celibate, I feel like there's something that's going to happen. Maybe you won't be celibate. I don't know. Now, you know, for certain people... This has to be like a connection, a past life connection, like where you literally feel 
comfortable enough that you've been with this person. The fact of the matter is, like, I don't know how to describe this. So it's someone that you obviously have known in a past life or you feel really comfortable with them because if you're like me, like as, as far as my, as my personal um, journey goes, like I've been celibate for a really long time over, God, I want to say a, a little over a year now. Um, by choice so you know it, it would take like a really special person or hold on one second okay sorry about that guys there's so many interruptions um i don't know so sometimes i i don't know if spirit is fully supporting me in this what i'm doing i mean i don't know it's just it's I don't know. I guess I'm just going through this phase where I'm really just questioning everything. Like, I don't know how to describe it. <laughs> you know, like, I've lost so many subscribers in the past week. And I feel like nobody is watching any of my videos. And so I'm just struggling. I'm just like, you know, feel like I put so much time and effort into this channel for it to just not go anywhere and it's it's frustrating and I'm so passionate about what I do you know what I'm saying so it's like it's not that like I'm so I believe in what I do that's the point and you know it's just it's frustrating because it seems like no matter what I do my channel is just like it, it just it doesn't thrive. And even now, like trying to do like a simple 10 minute reading, it's like I got 15 interruptions from my kids. So I'm just like, if this is truly my right path, why is it always so difficult? <laughs> every, every single ounce of it just feels so difficult. You know what I mean? I mean, but it's funny because like when I'm here and I'm in the flow, the reason I get frustrated is because I want to just keep flowing and there's so many interruptions and it's irritating but the fact of the matter is whether, you know, I don't have anyone here to watch my kids, just me and my kids, right? But even when their dad is here or he's watching them, he's supposed to be watching them for me, he's not watching them. Like he's doing other stuff. And I hate to even like, I never, you guys know I don't do this. I don't like to bring my personal life into this, into these reads. And this is probably why I lose so many subscribers because I just... I'm fucking real and I'm authentic and nobody's real anymore. Everyone just tries to pretend like their life is fucking cupcakes and rainbows. And it's not. You know what I mean? Um, we're all human beings and we all struggle and we all have our hopes. We all have our dreams. And we all have our moments of magic and pure um, love and all of those wonderful things that come with the ascension journey but we're, we're also fucking real and we're humans and i'm one of the most i'm one of the, the realest people you'll ever meet dude i just i'm so down to earth for those of you that personally know me like you know if you guys reach out to me on instagram i'm i'm you know i help you guys with your issues and stuff like that I have people that reach out to me every single day in fact it's starting to get overwhelming because it really takes a lot of my energy so I'm trying to cut down on a lot of that um learning to set up more boundaries and stuff which is part of my whole self-love journey right but the point I'm trying to make okay is about this whole card is like you know in order to to be sexual or intimate with someone you know like especially sex, sexual intimacy you would have to feel very comfortable with this person. Like you would have to feel like there is a really strong connection, like a past life connection, right? Because I feel like this, you're not just going to give this energy out to just anyone is the point I was trying to make, if that makes sense. And if it doesn't, I guess I don't really care anymore. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm just in a really sometimes some kind of mood you know what i'm saying all right let's get some clarification card on the fuck do we do the six of the six of cups 
Oh, we already got the clarification on that with the pleasure. Let's do the Prince of Discs. What do we need to know about this Prince of Discs and the energy surrounding that? Three of Wands. So whoever this person is, they've been thinking about this for a really long time. Like it's something that they've thought about and 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 thought about. And, thought about. and I don't know what changed that decided they just decided all of a sudden they're in this three of wands energy of like wanting to move things very quickly. Don't ask me. Okay. Give me clarification on the queen of wands, please. The emperor. Wow. Wow. So, sorry, my kids are distracting me again. I'm <laughs> sorry, you guys. I'm really doing the best I can. Um, you know, it's not easy being a mom, a single mom. And, you know, I am the income. I am the income, okay? And everything that I do, I do with the best intentions, like, I didn't start this channel because I wanted to be fucking rich. Like, of course, yes, it's past. It's it's one of my goals now, but that's now why I started this channel. I started this channel because I love tarot. And now I'm just thinking I might just take a break because all of it's just, it's starting to get overwhelming. I'm going to be honest. Um, I'm not making enough profit for me to continue doing this. And I don't know. It's what started out is like, All right, I'm just going to get back to the reading. So this person is in their emperor energy. Something has shifted in their energy field and they've created some stability for themselves or you have. And so it's shifted the energy dynamic between you two. There's a ram in these cards too. So you, some of you could be dealing with an Aries they have Aries in their chart. I don't know. Either way, even though I feel like they're an earth sign, they're coming out with some fire energy. And I just got really dizzy all of a sudden. I don't know. All right. So I'm going to move on to the Anubis deck. I don't know. The thing is, like, I love my channel. I love my work. I just feel like I'm putting a lot of effort into it and not getting enough back out of it. You know what I mean? So it's to the point where it's like, I, I don't, I want to continue it, of course, because I love it. But investment wise, it just doesn't make sense. And yet at the same time, I don't want to go back to working a nine to five because that's not for me either. Like, Spirit lets me know loud and clear when I start working a nine to five, it just, it never works out. Something always happens. I mean, look at, I was working at the flower shop. My boss died of cancer. Like, you know what I'm saying? And then after that, it's like, I don't know. It's, it's, it's literally one thing after another. When I'm, whenever I'm working a nine to five, something always happens, you know, and then I was working at another place and it closed down. It's just like, Spirit lets me know, like, that's not my path. At the same time, I'm questioning this path as well. So, you know, we all do that as human beings. We question, like, what what's the next step? Like, is do I want to continue this? All right, and there it is. Like, I feel like we're all collectively going through this right now. This is the shadow card. It's the ad, ad, I can't even fucking talk, y'all. I'm done adversarial ally it's the trickster god it's loki so loki you know or set it's the same energy like it's they're an ally but they're also like your opponent so while they're supporting you they're also showing you your shadows if that makes sense it's like a love hate relationship okay and here, I told you, you can't make it up. There it is, a holy longing, desire, instinct, and sensuality. It's best. And it's number 11. So 
So number 11 comes out for the 1111 portal. Go figure. For some of you, the reason this energy is coming out is because literally, probably, your twin soul is going to be coming into your life, like, around this time or shortly after, okay? There's no doubt about it with the 11. It says holy longing or desire, okay? It's also about following your instincts. If something doesn't feel right, then just get out. Just pull out, right? We're doing a lot of shadow work. Collectively, we're all questioning everything. It's like we're all questioning our paths. We're all opening new paths for ourselves. We're figuring out, you know, what, what it is that makes our soul complete. We have Isis, number three. Three is a holy number. It's the number of the Trinity. Isis is the goddess of magic. Some of you are literally putting your all into creating the life that you know you deserve. You're doing affirmations, magic. Um, you are powerful, whether you believe it or not. It's all about getting rid of your limiting beliefs so that you can understand what you deserve, okay? Okay. And it's not even about understanding. It's not about using that logic. It's about feeling into the fact that you're worthy of it. Period. Okay, that's been my biggest struggle, I think. Like, I know I'm at the pinnacle of my self-love. There's no doubt about that. But my mind still wants to fight back. So it's where I'm saying to myself, I'm open to receive. Then my mind goes, oh, are you sure? And I'm like, why don't you just shut the hell up? <laughs> right? It's a constant battle with myself, right? It's me against me <laughs> at this point. So this is the Holy Queen, Mother of us all, embodied manifestation of love. So there is so much love surrounding us. The highest frequency is love and authenticity. So you know what? This is probably why I'm not like one of those super popular tarot readers because I'm real like I'm authentic I don't sugarcoat anything like I just keep it how it is like I talk too much during the reads I you know try to like make you feel good as hell but at the same time I'm not going to sugarcoat anything you know what I'm saying I'm real if I see something bad I'm going to be like this is bad like I'm not going to lie this is bad <laughs> right but at the same time, if I tell you something bad, I'm giving you ways to see it in a positive light. I'm going to always uplift you. You know, and people don't like the realness. Um, YouTube is not going to promote you if you're a real person. Like if you're authentic, if you actually give a shit and you actually care. And at this point, I don't really give a shit. All right, so... We have lunar energies, divine timing, blood mysteries. Number 18. I can't even pronounce that name. <laughs> Konsu? Konsu? Ponsu? Ooh, Lord. If you know what that is, comment. Anyways, so there's that lunar energies. So with this, this new moon coming in, there's going to be a whole lot of energies which are going to shift, Okay. Some of you, it's going to shift you into love. For others, it's going to shift you into abundance. Either way, there's magic in the air. Number six. This is number nine, which is also the number of um, near completion, right? We have the three, which is the Holy Trinity. Set is number 16. It's very towerish energy. Shadow work. Ironically, I've been doing lots of shadow work recently with, with my soul family, also with myself, and it's really kicking my ass. That's probably why I'm in such a bitchy mood today. <laughs> Anyways, and, and number 15, if you add it up, five and one, it's the number of spirituality. So this is showing, yes, you're doing the spiritual work. Is it easy? No, but in the end, it's going to be freaking worth it you know we have number six again spiritual 
this number of spirituality of of um enlightenment on your spiritual journey it is literally the number of spiritual growth six is we have sobek and horus sobek i don't know how to say these egyptian names which is crazy because my my most recent past life i think was in egypt anyways that's why i felt god had to get this deck reconciliation of opposites forgiveness and understanding so this is literally like the the energies of duality coming together so like light and dark um black and white it's discovering that n those things only exist so that we can contrast our lives like they don't really exist only they only exist because we create that contrast in order to see what it is that we like and don't like. But there's always a gray area. Does that make sense? Right? They only exist because we put the meanings on them. On good and bad. But there's no such thing really as good and bad. Okay? This whole spiritual war is a joke. It's not even real. We just created it so that we could have like some sort of purpose. Right? Right? Number four. Oh God, why are these names so hard? Noom? Is that Noom? <laughs> Noom, I don't know. Anyways, there's the Taurus energy against the bull. There's a scarab which represents extreme transformation. So we're all going through this like really tough transformation and the wave over here is showing us that yes we're deep in the emotions right but we're learning how to flow with them this is the master craftsman card it's the creator of form and organizing principle so it's basically the energy of creation so some of you are literally creating your new life that's why everything feels so weird right now because we're in this energy of like where we're in the midst of creating our new, new life but we're not quite there but we're right on the border of it like we can start to see the manifestations coming we can feel them but they're not showing up yet if that makes sense okay all right i'm gonna get one more of these cards and move on. oh my god all of these freaking cards have start with kh I don't know how to pronounce any of them. I'm not going to lie. I'm so done. <sighs> Capera. Cycles of change. It doesn't matter. It's a big ass beetle with wings. Okay. It's a scarab. Cycles of change. It has the Egyptian ankh on it. Okay. Cycles of change. Planetary guardian and spiral dancer. So it's the spiral dance is about everything is there's no beginning and end right it's everything is a spiral so you might learn something and then two years later that same lesson comes back again in a spiral and it's because we're constantly going in cycles learning relearning visiting old paths in like this constant wheel right and when you realize that life is not a straight line, it's just a circle up and around and back down again, right? Something from your past is coming back. I don't know what it is. I have no idea. I have no clue. I have absolutely none. <laughs> I don't even know why spirit decided to tell me to work and do this 1111 portal reading, you know, because I'm, I'm just, I'm not, I'm not even in the mood. I'm not even in the right frame of mind. Like, <laughs> I'm just not, they're like, oh, a message needs to come out. And I'm like, why? So all 11 people can watch it. <laughs> like, <clears throat> I'm sorry. I know I sound bitter, but I am like in a way. I'm tired of it. I'm tired of the struggle. I just want things to be easy right now. I deserve it. I've been through some shit, y'all. Tenth house, your achievements and status in this outside world. So for a lot of you, 
there's a huge shift right now in your space with the 1111 portal and the energies after that it has to do with your status and how you feel like where you fit in to this world and and how you feel you fit into um what your role is in this life how you how you want people to perceive you and how you want to perceive yourself right that's what all of this energy is about. That's why it's so hard because people are questioning like, what do I want to do? Where am I fitting in? Would do what I do is what I do even matter to anybody, right? Like who cares? Does anybody care? <laughs> you know what I mean? Like am I, what I'm doing, is it creating an impact or am I just shooting the shit out of my ass? The ninth house, broadening your horizons, either spiritually, academically, or on a long journey. You just said a freaking mouthful. Or on a long journey, you think? Like, sometimes I just get so annoyed because I'm like, does the journey ever, does it ever end? Like, it seems to be just go on and on and on. And sometimes it becomes a lot. The energy of consistently doing shadow work and learning and, you know, at the end of like two years or three years or four years of shadow work and it's still and you realize yes yes you see the growth right you understand you've come so far I literally was this completely depressed like person I guess before this channel this channel gave me purpose right my spiritual journey gave me purpose. My my awakening gave me purpose. And I've come so far since the beginning of my awakening in 2018. Like most of y'all don't even know the half of my, my spiritual journey. My ears are ringing so bad. My spirit guides are trying to tell me to shut up. But I don't care. I'm going with it. So, but I have... If you all know, knew my personal story and like how my life has came complete full circle. You wouldn't believe some of the stuff that I've been through. Like you just, you wouldn't, you wouldn't even begin because like I hide everything so well. You know what I'm saying? Like my personal life, I try to keep very well hidden. So nobody knows the hells that I've endured and yet still continue to consistently show up for you guys. And so, yes, we see the growth, but sometimes the journey gets long and tedious. And in the moments like this, you really need to ground yourself and to lock into the energy of the divine love, right, that comes from your spirit. There is light at the end of the tunnel. I promise there is. And for some of you, you're going to find that, you know, this 1111 portal is expanding your consciousness in ways that you never thought was possible. You know, for some of you, you're going to be traveling. The sun, your immortal spirit, purpose, and destiny is involved. I, see, I told you. There is light at the end of the tunnel because at the end of this vicious ass cycle, you're going to know who the hell you are. You're going to come out stronger like the sun. You continue to shine no matter what you're going through. And for some of you, all the rewards that are coming are in relation to your destiny, right? It says literally your purpose and destiny. Something is, is going to happen that's going to all make sense. You're going to discover why you had to go down certain paths in order to get to this point, if that makes sense. All right, so we have Gemini. The energy is communicative, mischievous, lively, witty, and informative. A stimulating exchange is possible. So if some of you, you know, if you have like a Gemini friend, maybe this is going to make sense. Like I would, so keep an eye out for a Gemini. I don't know how they're going to impact. I don't know how they're going to influence your, your soul purpose, but look out for 
you know, someone who's a Gemini that might bring in some kind of a new opportunity for you. Um, the energy of Gemini is very, like, intelligent and very... Um, They're very social, so that sort of energy is very heavy in the air right now. My cat wants out. So just keep that in mind that, you know, this is the energy that's surrounding us in the 11.11 portal, right? People are wanting to, like, socialize and be around other people. I don't, but, you know, whatever. You go, guys. The third house, your potential to learn something and your local neighborhood. So for some of you, you're, you're going to have an opportunity to do something like in your own neighborhood, right? And it's going to impact you in a huge, profound way. It's going to teach you something about yourself. There's a crystal here too. So some of you might be working with like crystals, um, it's going to unlock like new gifts for you as well. There's a lot of abundance coming off this ninth house card. I'm just tuning into the energies of the card right now as I'm holding them. I don't know. For some of you, this, this 1111 portal is going to shift things in a huge way. It's going to be like, you know, that, that freaking like when pigs fly energy where you're like, there's no freaking way that this is happening and believe me it's like it's happening <clears throat> it's happening <laughs> and you're not going to believe it when the stuff starts coming in it's it's going to be i don't know it's just it's going to feel very out of this world like unbelievable If that makes sense. I don't know. All right. I'm going to do a few cards from my spirit deck. Frick was that? Damn bug just bite me. I don't know. Felt like something landed on my head, but I touched it and there was something there. <clears throat> All right. What else do we got? Authentic. See, I told you. I told you. Some of you are stepping into your authentic truth and other people won't like it. And who cares? Who cares what they think? Like at this point, I'm 43 years old. I don't, I have no um, desire to like be anything other than who I am. I don't really care. Like I don't want to be different. I just want to be who the hell I am. And this is me. Like... I'm a fucking ball of sunshine most days. And other days, I'm, I am this, like who I am right now. This is, you know, this is the, the Nancy, <laughs> Nancy, like, you know, bunny is, is soft and, and, and Nancy is, she's real, you know, but they're both aspects of me. You know, sometimes I'm a really soft pillow and other times I'm a jagged fucking little pill. So I don't really care. YouTube can censor me or do whatever they want to do. Piercings. <clears throat> I don't know what that has to do with anything, but I have piercings. So, you know, whatever. Piercings are cool. <laughs> Maybe some of y'all are going to get a piercing at the 1111 portal. Who? I don't know. Aries. Ooh. I'm just going to lay all these out. I don't know what they'll mean. They'll mean something. They'll, they're going to mean different things for everyone. But these are things you need to look out for in the 1111 portal because they're going to lead you to your greatest success. The answer is not right now, but soon. Of course, it's always not right now. Not right now. Not right now. Can I have a house? Not right now. Can I have my twin flame? Not right now. Can I have money? Not right now. <laughs> Can I have something nice? Not right now. Oh my God. Universe. What the fuck? 
I'm sorry. I'm on something today, guys. I should have just smoked a damn joy before I started. Liar. <laughs> See? I can't. Somebody's not being honest about something. It says the answer is not right. <clears throat> God, I can't even fucking. The answer is not right now, but soon. Someone's lying about how they feel. That's what it is. It's like, you know, they may have said like they didn't want anything to do with you. Not right now, whatever. But very soon, stuff is shifting. Oh, there it is. The cancer is the one that's a liar. <laughs> I'm going to go to bed after this. Look at this. I'm done. And that makes perfect sense, doesn't it? I might not even post this read. I'm not even sure. Y'all going to go back and watch this and go, this bitch done lost her fucking shit. She's done. She needs to go on a vacation or something, right? Truth is, my days have been so busy. I homeschool my kids, right? I do this. I have clients that I read for. Um, you know, I'm just, maybe I'm just on the verge of burnout. I don't know. But, you know, between my meditations and balancing this life and my manifestation work and shadow work, it's all just... Right now, I'm just in this attitude of just like, I don't care right now. This is like, this is me showing like major detachment. It's so funny. This whole liar and the cancer that came up, it makes perfect sense to me. It does, it might not make sense to anyone else, but it, this whole reading just got personal. Aquarius, I'm going to pull one more from this deck because this, this deck is not making sense. Like I said, I might name a post to read because I don't even know if it's going to make sense to anyone. I don't know. Whatever mysterious i don't know scorpio whatever <laughs> i'm done i don't even care at this point because i just i don't even know i couldn't interpret any of that fucking energy at all so it's beyond right now it's been a rough week okay <laughs> and like not even a bad week it's just been like there's been lots of beautiful moments. There's been so much growth. You know, and I think I'm just ready to have some type of change in my life. You know, like I thought I was going to be doing tarot forever. And yet my channel is still pretty much in the same place that it was, you know, four years ago. So... I'm beginning to think maybe this isn't my path and there's something else meant for me. I don't know. We have Freya, phases and cycles. There is a beginning within every ending. Illusions are revealed and released. Yeah, see? So we are getting rid of things that are no longer serving us and we're doing it with grace. If this is what you consider grace, <laughs> Celebrate yourself, guys. Lord Shiva, transcendence. Rise up, honor your inner force. Steps are being given and dance with the universe. So when the universe gives you lemons, eat the lemons with some salt and enjoy them. They say make lemonade, but who wants lemonade? Lemonade is not even that good. It's actually just kind of disgusting. It's like you're mixing sweet with sour. Why not go with the sour? Make it more sour. Put salt. Flow with the sour. <laughs> I swear to God, the stream's not making any sense. Um, whatever that name is. Dharma unfolding. Remember that you are on a path. Take one step at a time to happiness. So, you know, they want you to keep going. They want you to trust your path. You know, Rome wasn't built in a day. Oh, Lady Nada. Hearts awakening. Awaken to acceptance and divine love. Give and receive in balance. Yes, this is very important. To make sure that you are giving 
energy, receiving energy, the same energy that you give out, that you're getting it back. If you're not, it's not worth it. This is also the Twin Flame card. She, Lady Nada, if you guys have watched my past videos, you know me and Lady Nada have, we have a special, we have a special bond. She came to me the last time that I was feeling like this, like I wanted to give up on this channel. And she was like, don't you dare. And she's back. <laughs> she's back with her divine message of love. She is the orchestrator of twin flames. She often brings twin flames into union with her divine guidance. Um, so here she is. She's here with her special gifts of love. And she's saying at the end of this journey is something really beautiful. If you can just continue to keep going and find the beauty. We have Mother Mary, love and peace. Let go of the need to be right and choose peace. Mother healing is possible at this time. So there it is. I'm healing the mother in me. And I just had a shadow reading from this beautiful friend of mine. Her name is Nova Nova. And um, <clears throat> she told me that my archetype was the mother. So it makes perfect sense. I'm learning to heal the mother inside of me, right? Um, I'm also learning to mother my inner child. You know, the work is not easy. So <laughs> if I came across as a little bit loopy today, you know, it's my mother's heart. I have... As a mother, I give so much energy to my children. And then, you know, I'm just now learning to give some of that energy back to myself. And, you know, it's funny because this channel is, is a way to give back to myself. This is how I distress. This is how I unwind. This is how I give to the divine. This is my, my, um, this is my sacred prayer this is my, um, I don't even know how, what to even call this. It, this is like my sacred time for me and for my self-love and for my healing. And every reading I do heals me along with you guys. It's not like I'm just here teaching. Like every reading teaches me as well. It shines light on things that I know need to be seen within myself. This is my sacred space. Like it literally is like I start my readings out with this is my sacred space of love and healing because it is. This is how I find my divinity. This is how I find pieces of myself. You know, this is how I find who I am at the core of my soul. This is how I chip out little pieces of who I am and who I discover who I am outside of being a mother. Like who is the person that is standing behind these cards speaking to you? You know, I'm not just a tarot reader. I'm a mother and I'm a lover and I'm a woman. So anyways, I hope y'all enjoyed this read. If anything resonated, please give it a like, a share and a subscription they're completely free to you. If you want to book a reading with me, all of my prices are in the description box below. I love you. I celebrate yourself. Celebrate your magic. The 1111 portal is going to bring in some very important shifts for you. Miracles are happening. I love you guys.